a rule for your school. So give me an example. It's classroom example. turned commons debate. There's a lot of people who maybe leave college or, or maybe it's university still don't vote because they don't know who to vote a for. A chance for these children in Doncaster to experience life as a politician, discussing new rules and legislation which matter to them. We've been talking about some rules, what there is, and what we think we should think they should be um, loosened a bit. Yeah, yellow cards and red cards, maybe. And when the opposing team concedes, they start from the net. And instead of the kickoff line. It's all part of a new project by the Football League Trust who are working with schools to teach young people about the government through the power of football. Parliament's that kind of like, topic. It's, it's so vitally important to everybody, but to get young people and children engaged in it is notoriously difficult because they don't see it necessarily as relevant to them. I mean, we can relate it to a topic like football and teach them some important life lessons about gamemanship, fair play, justice, and also teach them the way that the Parliament works. The Trust has teamed up with Parliament's Education Service and it's hoped through club players and coaches visiting schools it'll grab children's attention and more young people will feel part of next month's election. Is it easy to stand up in front of a group and speak? No. But for some, they already feel excluded. Among them, 16 and 17 year olds in Scotland who feel it's unfair they could vote in September's referendum but won't be allowed to have their say next month. We've been gathering views of people in Glasgow. Yes, I think you should. I think if you're young like me, then uh -huh, why not? Aye, because everybody has their own opinion in it, in it so they should, everybody should be allowed to vote. We're a lot more passionate, a lot more engaged, a lot more just angry with politics and like ready we want to make a change and when it comes to campaign for that change the youth parliament member for calderdale is right on side young people especially 16 and 17 year olds have a huge amount of responsibility in society they they can pay income tax they can get married they can join the army uh, they can have a family but they can't vote they can't elect who the governing body is and i think that's so patronizing we give them all this responsibility Yet, yet when it comes to electing who the government should be, we just take it away. But according to politics expert Philip Cowley, lowering the voting age could be a mistake. Every single opinion poll on this subject, which has asked people in this country whether they want to see the voting age lowered, has seen a clear majority for keeping the voting age at 18. The Hansard Society did a study a few years ago which asked people about bits of the British Constitution that they either understood and supported. And there was only one bit of the Constitution that people both understood and supported, and that was a voting age at 18. Election fever is sweeping our country, and these students now have a good understanding of decision-making and fair play. It may be a classroom, but the same rules will no doubt apply to whoever leads our country come May the 7th. Matt Price, ITV News.